A strange thing happened. People from all over Australia began to write to him. When I was working for him, I deal with his correspondence. And I pass on the stuff to him needed to see. But the, th the thing that I really noticed in, re in reading the correspondence was how many people wrote to him and said, well, you gave me the chance to have an education that I wouldn't have otherwise had. And that's something that you could feel the emotion in the letters. Uncle Goff was the leader who's got it all. I came here in 1971 as a refugee. I really have got to thank for having the foresight and guts to abolish university fees. To see these wonderful things supporting women particularly. He could be an immensely charming man when he turned his, his mind to it. I've always quite enjoyed his company. Whitlam had come to change us, and he'd succeeded. He'd survived his cataclysmic time. He never lost his vision, and Australia had finally opened its eyes. politician worth dying for. I think Whitlam will be remembered as a, a great but flawed man. He gave you the confidence, I think, as an Australian, to be proud, you know, of what he was doing to bring our country into the 20th century. But beyond question, historically, there's before Whitlam and after Whitlam. And you can't say that of many politicians. Mm -hmm. 